Hello everyone, the Chart Guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now, and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit, and we feel after watching this course, it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge, which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Hey everyone, going to be looking at a pattern that we're seeing a lot of last week. A couple of them are still set up, but it's a bull flag pattern. We know the, the market's at all time highs right on the doorstep of new higher highs. And with these patterns, we were watching them this week and they saw some really nice follow through. So just want to talk a bit about them. We're going to be looking at Amazon, Tesla, Netflix, Google, PCLN, and BAC. So as you can see, they are all over the place. And what defines the bull flag pattern is a clear breakout and a rapid rise in the price in a short amount of time. And then consolidation that occurs is normal and healthy on decreasing bear volume, ideally. And it fits in a parallel support and resistance range in a slight downtrend. So here's an example. I drew this line, doesn't have any clear placement. It's just showing the breakout. And then this is the consolidation and it gives even bonus points, I would say, when the bulls are buying the dip and we have a nice lower wick on these consolidation candlesticks on low volume. So a clear breakout, parallel support and resistance line with some normal healthy consolidation, we can look for a bull entry because the bull flag pattern indicates continuation. It tells us we're seeing normal healthy consolidation. The bulls are getting ready to show back up. And look, look what Amazon saw. A bull candlestick close at the high, big volume breakout. There's your very clear confirmation of that bull flag pattern and then further follow through. So Amazon had a clear breakout on Thursday. Look at Tesla. Here's that bull breakout. We know Tesla's been a beast the past six weeks, but another leg to the upside, normal healthy consolidation. We did see a little bit of increasing volume, very minimally, but when you see these long lower wicks and closes near the high of the day, you can attribute some of that volume does belong to the bulls. So it would not be a red flag in terms of increasing volume there. Even though you look at the candlesticks, it's red volume, or I should say the, the histogram down here is red volume. But you see the lower wicks and the closes near the high of the day. So you know the price action had a lot of bullish action in there as well. So there's your parallel support and resistance line. Clear bull break on Friday. Big breakout on volume. Close at the high of the day. So Amazon was one of the lead bulls that got that continuation and had us looking at the other setups that were very similar. And they ended up following through as well. So Tesla followed through on Friday. A bit of a laggard by a day. Netflix followed through on Friday. Its consolidation was a bit more drawn out. Look how low that bear volume is compared to the bull volume. And then we saw the breakout on Friday, increase in bull volume, continuation to the upside after normal, healthy consolidation. Google, it's setting up as well. We have that parallel support and resistance, the bulls buying the dip. We saw the break and confirmation, but it's a bit of a weaker move because we rejected from the upper Bollinger Band and we ended up forming a doji, which shows indecision, and it shows profit-taking. So you look at a stock like Tesla and that close, and Netflix and that close, clearly a lot stronger than Google, but it did see that follow-through and some nice bullish trading opportunity on Friday. Just needed to be quick locking in those gains because the bulls could not hold up to the end of the day. 
Another name whose breakout hasn't really clearly followed through just yet is PCLN. And we can see that bulls buying the dip, not as clearly defined, but this shows normal, healthy, bullish consolidation and now follow through to the upside. The upper Bollinger Band has rejected the price three times in the last four days. It's going to be in the low 1550s on Tuesday. So pretty much it's just the bulls waiting patiently for this Bollinger Band to ascend to create room to the upside because they are struggling to break out above this level. Here's BAC. This is on the weekly time frame. So you can watch this pattern on five-minute charts, hourly, daily, weekly. We see flags all the time. And look at this clear, very big breakout. And we have another example back here. We've seen multiple bull flags. And on really strong bulls, you'll see multiple bull flags because it's forming higher lows. So here's your breakout. Consolidation for three weeks. Bulls buying the dip. Breakout and continuation for follow through. Huge breakout. Three weeks of consolidation. And now the bull is showing back up for continuation trying to hit higher highs. So that's a nice weekly bull flag. There's your flag pole. There's your flag. Again, consolidated, contained, or I should say contained consolidation, decreasing bear volume, parallel support and resistance channels, and it's a continuation pattern. And now the inverse pattern is a bear flag, and that occurs when you have the opposite, an all-out dump, a short-term bounce with a little parallel support and resistance channel, and then continuation to the downside. I don't have any off the top of my head here was just planning on doing a bull flag video let's actually look at jnug on the weekly so here are some bear flags where you have a two-week dump a short-term bounce a week bounce trying to see some recovery cooling off the technicals continuation to the downside a little short-term bounce attempt bear flag continuation to the downside so after a big dump when you see a weak bounce attempt you need to keep an eye out for the potential that it is a bear flag so bull flags and bear flags, you'll see them all over the place, all kinds of time frames, and volume is really important in being able to recognize whether it's a bull flag or not. Bears want to see decreasing bull volume on a bear flag bounce, and bulls want to see decreasing bear volume on a bull flag consolidation. So I appreciate you watching. We'll see if PCLN gets any follow through from its bull flag this coming week. And again, keep your eye out because these patterns are everywhere. Have a great night. See you soon.